Hey guys, it's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build an auto bucket filler. Now before I continue on, if you've been a long time subscriber of my channel, you would be finding this a little bit weird right now because usually I'm in a flat world, I'm in survival mode, but no, things are changing now on my channel. I'm creating a new format for my redstone tutorials. So at the end of this video, go down to the comments, let me know how you liked it because I feel like I needed to change it up. I've had the same format for over four years now and I feel like I should do something new, integrate it into my kind of other series where I'm at this mansion here. So let me know what you think in the comments at the end of this video, but let's go ahead, let's check out this auto bucket filler now. So let's come to the back of our house here where we have the contraption. So over here is the auto bucket filler and basically what it does is it fills up your empty buckets with water and then pops them into this chest here. Now wait a second crayfish, can't you just right click an infinite water source with an empty bucket? Well, if you want to be basic, go ahead, leave this tutorial right now. But if you want to create something cool that automatically fills them up and will also impress your friends at the same time, continue watching now. So let's give a little demo here, so let's get out an empty bucket. Now you do have to be a little careful when you are actually uh, inserting these, you can't insert them all at once, but that is an improvement I'm going to make in the future. But for now, this is kind of like just a basic version. So let's go ahead, let's chuck in a bucket here. And then you'll hear that little ding sound. That indicate indicates that you can chuck in another bucket straight away. So if you chuck one in, once you hear that ding, pop in another one. And if we go ahead and take a peek in this chest here, we now have 16 buckets filled with water. And we didn't even have to right click any sort of water source, we just had to chuck it into this hopper here. So how cool is that? And that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build today. Now if you guys enjoyed this redstone tutorial today, make sure you remember to go ahead and snap that like button. We need it snapped right in half. If you want to keep up to date with all my latest redstone tutorials, make sure you go ahead and subscribe as well. I suggest you press that post notification button so you definitely don't miss out on any new uploads. But let's go ahead and let's get into this tutorial now. So the materials that you are going to need is 7 redstone dust, 5 redstone torches, 4 redstone repeaters, 3 redstone comparators, 1 dispenser, four droppers, five hoppers, one chest, one note block, two buckets of water, and 64 blocks of your choice. So the first thing that we are going to do is place down our chest. This is just gonna make it a whole lot easier to position it. Now before we place it down, what we're gonna do is on that position, dig down four blocks. So one, two, three, four. Then place your four, four droppers facing upwards. Now make sure you're holding crouch so you don't open up the GUI. Then finally place your chest on top. Now go to the block in front of your chest and we're going to go back three blocks. So one, two, three. Then go to the left one. And now we're going to dig a three wide by seven long by four deep hole. So dig out the block underneath. Then go two to the right. Six towards the back. One, two, three, four, five, six two to the left and then we're going to come back to the start dig out the blocks in the center and now we just have to dig this down three more layers so that's one layer two and three. Now get our hopper and we're gonna place it going into this bottom dropper down here. So crouch, right click. Then we're gonna place another one in front of this hopper. Now before we do that, destroy the block underneath, place a redstone torch on the right side and then place the hopper. On top of this hopper here, we're gonna place our dispenser facing towards our droppers here. So crouch, right click. Hopper going into the top of this dispenser. We're gonna place one going into the back of this hopper here. Oh, let's uh, hop up here and do it. Into that, uh, into that hopper, I mean. And then one on top of this hopper here. 
So the path of our hoppers should be going down to the left here, down into the dispenser. This hopper here should be sucking items out and then bringing them into this dropper over here, which eventually when we build the item elevator, will bring the items up to the chest. And that is what we're going to do now. So get out a comparator, place it coming out of this bottom dropper, lead that into a block, redstone torch on the left side of it, block on top, block in front, redstone on the top of that block, redstone torch on the front, and then we're going to place a block on top of that redstone torch. Now we're going to repeat that process again but we're going to start by placing a block on top of this comparator. So a cool way to do this is just crouch and then right click the top. So again, comparator coming out, lead that into a block, redstone torch on the left side, block on top, block in front, redstone, torch, and then block on top of that torch. So that is the item elevator. Now we're going to come to the front here and in front of the dispenser we're going to place a block. Then on top of that block we're going to place a comparator coming out of this hopper here so that's going to detect when the item passes through it. It's going to send out a signal here and we want to lead that into a block. Now before we place that we're going to place a block on the floor and then a repeater going to the left here. Now I can place a block over the top of it and then a block diagonally right down to the right and diagonally down to the left there. On this right side, place a redstone, a piece of redstone dust, block on the floor over here, then our note block is going to come back up one layer and we're going to place it there next to the dispenser. Down on this block here, we're going to lead a redstone repeater into that and also right click the repeater once to put it onto a two tick delay. Over this other side, we're going to come down here redstone under this block coming out of that redstone facing towards the back we're going to place a repeater and then right click that once to put on a two tick delay redstone after that then to the blocks to the right of this redstone and repeater we're going to dig them out and copy the same process so redstone here redstone there and then a repeater now instead of right clicking it once we're going to do it twice so one two and lastly, the thing we've got to do now is fill this thing up with water. So we do need to patch up some holes here. So we're going to place a block to the right and the left of that hopper there. We need to place a block to the right of this dropper and to the left of that dispenser. So we should have an area here for three water sources. So let's get out our buckets. And then if you're in survival mode, place the water source over on top of the blocks either side of the hopper. So it will create an infinite water source. If you're in creative, um, it won't matter too much because it won't empty the buckets on you. Now according to my sources, this should work. So let's go ahead and let's test this out now. So let's get a bucket, throw it into this hopper here. And there we go, we have our bucket now filled with water. Now one thing you can do is change around this note block here so so I just hit that 10 times and it will just produce a different sound so you can change around that however you like and there is our filled bucket again and lastly you want to go ahead and cover this all up so let's do just a little bit of a um, floor around this section we're gonna fill this over here with grass now it's probably a good idea to build this up against the wall just because we do have some visible redstone which is um, can't really avoid it unfortunately. So I'm just going to build up a little teeny wall here. And then we can also just cover that up actually. You can change that around with um, some grass blocks there instead. And then we can also, let's just finally decorate this and pop a nice little item frame on the front here with a bucket, which I think decorates it really nicely. So that is the building process complete. What I'm going to do now is explain to you guys how this works. 
Now this is honestly not a difficult contraption to understand but I'll explain my best. So we first throw the bucket into this hopper here. This hopper takes it down into the one below it, into this one. Then before it goes into the dispenser, this comparator will actually detect that there's an item inside of this hopper. So that's going to send out a signal into this block which then is sent over into this redstone. That redstone then powers this block underneath it. Now because this block is powered, it's going to power this repeater over here and we've delayed it by two ticks because by the time two ticks have happened, the bucket is inside the dispenser. So it powers the note block and also powers the dispenser. The dispenser then uh, makes the bucket pick up the water source block in front of it. In this direction, it's sending out a redstone signal into this block here. This powers this redstone underneath. Now, why we've got two repeaters here is because we need to have a longer hold on this redstone torch. And that gives it enough time to suck the item out of the dispenser here. And then also put it into the next, the next hopper there, which we can't see, but it's behind there. It gives it enough time to get it into that one, which then that hopper brings it into this dropper over here. Now again we've got another comparator detecting if there's an item in this dropper. This part here is the item elevator so it sends out a signal into this comparator. Turns off this torch and basically what we've got here is a redstone pulser. So because this torch here, this redstone here is on, it's powering that block which tells this torch to turn off. Now this redstone here is only on because that this torch is lit. So if there's an item in here, this repeat, this comparator is going to be on, which is powering that block, and that's going to turn off, which then unpowers this redstone, turns this torch on, which powers the block above, then turns this redstone on. But because this redstone's on, it's going to turn off that torch, turning off the power in this block, and turns off that redstone. So this will come back on, it's going to repeat that. So it does that um, until the item is out of that dropper. And that will get launched up into this next section here again where it does the same process of launching it up. And then finally it will go into this chest and that is the uh, contraption complete. So I hope that explains how it works. And sorry for the bird in the background while that happened. So that's going to end off this redstone tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and snap that like button. Then go ahead and check out one of these videos. This one on the left here is another redstone tutorial. Then the one on the right is a video personalized for you. But I will see you guys later. Bye.